good morning, peeps. I mean, by the time I put out this video, it's not really tomorrow, but happy Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Day. I mean, check it out. Check it out. I'm still trying out a lot of characters and stuff, and I'm having a blast with the game, and I hope you guys are playing it. I'm trying to lock all the characters and whatnot in order to get the lab ready, but I'll be going live every now and again to, you know, test the wires and whatnot, and all that good jazz. But if you have been living under a rock, or if the Avengers Endgame trailer got you overly flabbergasted, one huge kicker that came out, the biggest kicker, I would say, the biggest thing out of last night's Game Awards is that they teased and show well they didn't even show off because I mean it was a tease there was no gameplay or anything but they teased and I honestly thought it wasn't gonna happen I thought it was like well, it's way too early Prana Plant's not gonna come out until February and there's no way they're gonna show the first character of the DLC uh, Smash Pass Smash Fighter Pass or whatever for a Challenger Pack one something that literally is breaking the internet till right till right now a huge thing is Joker from Persona 5. And if you guys saw my reaction, I just want to make a quick clarification. I didn't say Persona was never... I, I didn't mean, I should say. Because I, I did say. I didn't mean that Persona was never on uh, Nintendo consoles. Because, of course, Persona Q 1 and 2 are on Nintendo Family Systems and stuff like that. What I was meant to say is that Persona 5 was never meant... Was never on Nintendo consoles. But, I mean, we might get a port now that Joker's coming. But that's what I meant to say. So, a quick clarification. But this is a huge deal. This is a gigantic deal. Now, I'm going to say I haven't played Persona 5, but I know enough about Shin Megami Tensei. I hope I'm saying that right. And Persona from my friends and watch my friends play Persona 5 to know that, one, Persona 5 is a great game. I still need to play it. And if it's coming to the Switch, easy. Persona 5 is a great game. It's a long game. Uh, and that Joker was a huge requested character among people that really want to happen and people joking around. And this is some wild boy shit that Nintendo actually made a list for Sakurai that has been confirmed. Nintendo made a list for Sakurai of characters they want to be in Smash because Nintendo came up to us and Sakurai chose five people from that list to be in the game. And number one he chose is like, yo, Joker from Persona 5, get it. So that's incredibly wild. Persona 5's Joker is coming to Smash as the first challenger. And another clarification, Piranha Plant does not count as the first fighter from the Battle Pass, uh, from the Fire Pass. That's something completely different. All right, it's a free offer that's coming first, and then the five DLC characters are their own separate thing, with Joker being number one. And I'm just like, that's that's insane! Like, because I know there's people that were hopeful, it's like, hey, that would be really cool if Joker made it in, but this, I feel this is on, like, some Cloud Strife level shit coming uh, for a character coming to Smash. Bayna, uh, Simon Richter, uh, King K. Rool, uh, but, like, right now, Cloud and Joker to me are the two most wild boy character shits I have ever seen and I can't believe he's actually come to Smash and I'm ecstatic for the Persona fans I'm ecstatic for the Alice fans and I think Joker looks like a, he could be a great character because I've seen gameplay from Persona 5 even though it's a turn based RP, uh, RPG and stuff and I feel that a good kit especially him summoning his, uh, his Persona will be awesome to see in Smash Bros Ultimate but that's only one half of what this video is about because there has been a lot of detractors, not, well, not detractors, but non-believers, there you go. A lot of non-believers about Sora for Smash. Now, as the, from the immortal words of my good friend Henry, Game Boy Lad, he's like, yo, they have to pull the most wild boy shit for us to get this Fighter Pass, even though I already bought it before Joker got announced. Because they have to really sell the characters. And that, I agree with him. I've said this in videos and on streams before. They have to really choose characters to really sell these the, the, these this DLC. Because we have all... Everyone's back. Everyone is here. And we already got some crazy uh, third-party characters. Sonic, Mega Man, Simon, Snake, Bayonetta, Cloud. You know, we got some crazy people already. And in order to sell the Fire Pass, they have to get some... I felt they had to get some crazier characters. And Joker is definitely up there. That's wild. Now, I made a video that got a lot of steam, and that's great, of me speaking to a Disney rep, uh, aka D uh, Justice Carpone. He is the vice president, general manager of Disney Tokyo and stuff. And I talked to him about the possibility and the copyright situation when it uh, surrounds Sora. And from his words, he said it's def it definitely is possible uh, under the right parameters that one, it's represented nicely, two, Nomura is good with it, and three, Nintendo has to go to them first. And the fact that Nintendo made a list with Joker on it 
means they had to like they're thinking of some really wild boy characters on that list and they're willing to go out of the way because like joker is literally out of left fucking field so what i'm trying to say and i'm not taking anything away from joker because joker is a pretty high fast reveal but i'm saying if joker can get in and with what disney's saying about sora sora can definitely get in smash and the fact that reggie said reggie and sakurai said that these are characters that you don't want to miss and reggie said these are characters that have never been in smash and characters that will defy people's expectations because of the situation around sora i feel is that people want him people are clamoring for him like the sword for smash movement has been huge people want him but do we expect him because that's two different things all right wanting something is great but then you have to also curb your expectations like let's say i want uh a kingdom heart i want kingdom Hearts to be on the switch do i expect it to be on the switch even though namora said he might play around with possibilities of kingdom Hearts to be on the switch after the release I have to curb my expectations. I can't really expect it to be on the Switch. I would want it to be on the Switch, but I can't really expect it. So, with Reggie's words, we want Sora for Smash. But the general consensus, do we expect him to come to Smash? It's a very hard if. That's a gigantic, very strong hard if. But with Reggie's words, and the fact that Joker is coming to Smash, I feel that the stars are aligning, boys. Sora? is a very hard possibility if joker can get in sora can get in so i don't want to hear no disney copyright ain't gonna happen bullshit because if joker can do it sora can do it too and i'm ecstatic for this possibility and it could be possible that sora could be number five so and other than joker don't expect joker anytime soon i'm letting you know right now prom plan they said it's coming around february so Joker, I would place around April the earliest, the earliest, and probably June the latest. So that's that's wild. And we're probably not if Sora gets into Smash, we're probably not gonna see him for a while. So they said that all the fires should be out February of 2020, right? So I'm guessing Sora. 2020 or so sorry january 2020 to celebrate the one year anniversary of kingdom hearts 3 guys if joker can get in sora can get in. like it's this is the most this is the crazy shit this timeline is so wild oh my god like nintendo my hat's off to you for putting Joker on that list. Sakurai, thank you for choosing Joker and for hyping us up. The possibilities are truly like, like the stars are all over the place for that. I hope Sora's on the list and I hope Sakurai chose it. Disney, Nintendo, please make it happen. It, it can happen. The dream is has never been more alive. Joker's number one. I honestly, if Joker's number one, I honestly can't wait to see who the other characters because in my opinion it's 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 hard for me to like think who could be part of that list if joker's number one and if sword's number five like who's like two through four like master chief crash bandicoot like there has to be some wild shit i can't wait to see what's up with that. guys let me know what you think about this crazy development about smash and whatnot in the comment section below so until the next video, I've been HMK, and oh boy, I will check you guys later. So you haven't subscribed to HMK yet. Don't piss Xemnas off.